Hello, citizens. I'm not much of a morning person, you know, like I get up about 11 a.m. or so and then have my bowl of cornflakes. So by the time I'm ready to go, this Beatles 64 thing has already been on TV and such. I missed it. Well, luckily for me, there's reruns. So I got a gander of it this afternoon. It's cold and snowy out anyway. What else is there to do? So yeah, let's watch Beatles 64. And by golly, it's better than I thought it was. A lot of people are saying it's a lot of rehash of the Beatles' U.S. visit. And yeah, I get some of that. They use some of the same footage, but there's a lot of new stuff that I don't remember seeing before. So there was a, a lot of stuff that uh, I could say, like, boy, you know, like, that's new to me. And I think it would be new to you, too, because it's like, an hour 45 of Beatles stuff. Who doesn't love Beatles stuff, right? You know, like, you can't take your eyes off it. There's, there's no nodding off during a Beatles documentary. No way. You're, you're just fascinated. You're just, you know, like, with every little bit with the girls in the street and the pandemonium going on and the Beatles themselves in the middle of it and just kind of like, did we do this? Yes, it's all for you. Yes, it's... It's craziness, and they're in their hotel rooms being badgered by Murray the K, which they're going like, do we have to put up with this guy, really? You know, shouting in our faces, and even at the one point when Murray decides to go back to the station and play a song by those Beatles, like, uh, how about, uh, yeah, play that Love You Do. Uh, no, it's Love Me Do, what? And John sits there going, it's Love Me Do, you wanker. And they all laugh because he thinks he just got a compliment. <laughs> Crazy stuff like that. You'll see some interviews and, you know, people on the street and, you know, the girls are going insane. And two girls even try to get into the hotel and they just about get close and they kind of blow it. They say they're staying at the same hotel and, you know, can we gather our things and, okay, go get them. Uh, well, we're not really. All right, we're going to throw you out of here. Shoo. But, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff to like in here with, with the interspersion with the, the Beatles themselves, with the interviews reminiscing. Although there is one part that I thought was kind of like, why is this even included? Uh, Ringo decides to tell us about the clothes he was wearing. I don't know, that part, like, not sure why that was even in there. I would have cut that part out. But it's, fortunately, it's a short bit. And then it's on with the show, and it it uses a lot of the Maisel's documentary footage. So, like, you'll, you'll see that. But a lot of new stuff, though, too. I don't think you'll be bored. Nah, I wasn't bored. I don't think you'll be bored. It's the Beatles. How how bad could it be? You know, like, you'll, you'll love this thing. I'm, I'm sure you will. Now, the thing is, too, that now that we're watching this, Will there be a media release? You know, like DVD or Blu-ray, something or other? Do you think maybe in the new year we might see this on the shelves? Mm, kind of like how they put Get Back out uh, after it had its run on Disney+. Plus. Well, that's up to Apple Core, I'm sure. However, if people are watching it and people are loving it and people loved to Get Back when it was out, people bought it and it sold out! Yes, it did. So there's no reason to come say February or March, this might be on the shelves too. So Apple Core, don't disappoint us. Let us have this for our movie shelves, yes. I was captivated. I was fascinated. It's a fascinating story. So I know you're <laughs> tired of listening to me rant about it, so go watch it for yourselves. Go ahead. It's out there right now. Take care, everyone.